What are three ways not to think like a casual from Houston? See, Evan, I admire this. Because Evan sounds like a guy who is unsure of himself, but he wants to be better. And so I've got some simple rules. If you follow this show for any length of time, or even if you haven't, you know what a casual is. The casual is just the squarest of the square. Says the most commonsensical and nonsensical things ever. Thinks they're right on everything. They subscribe to what we call fortune cookie logic, bumper sticker mentality. That's that kind of stuff that sounds good on the surface, but it doesn't stand up against any kind of harsh critique. The first thing you can do to avoid thinking like a casual is don't ever call a college football game a meaningless game. That is like a giant red flag right above your head that screams, Casual alert, casual alert, casual alert, and you just need to go sit by the garbage. You have been infiltrated. Your mind has been infiltrated with Sunday logic, but this is a Saturday game. We don't think like they do on Sunday. This is our sport. That's their sport. Now, I'll get to that in just a second, but anyone who talks about meaningless games uh, is, is probably not capable of going. You know what? I hesitate to say this because it's not just... 18-year-olds who say this. There are 58-year-olds who call some November college football games meaningless because they're not tied to the playoff. It's just, it's, it's casual aff, as Meemaw would say, casual aff. Next up, speaking of the Sunday logic, don't compare college football to pro sport. Please don't be the kind of casual who does that. Uh, they're numerous out there, copious amounts of casuals walking the streets amongst us with the same rights to drive an automobile and vote as you and I have. It's disgusting. And they talk about how this should be the case in college football. Why? Because they do it in every other pro sport. Well, this is not every other pro sport. In fact, what we like about our sport is it's different than everything else. So the last thing on this planet we would want to do is have it resemble everything else. Do you get that? It's not like anything else, so it shouldn't resemble everything else. That's the kind of fortune cookie logic that we can live our lives in accordance with. You will have I guarantee you every week of the college football season, if you, expose, if you expose yourself to enough opinion out there, every Saturday and beyond, someone's going to come at you and they're going to tell you that something's wrong with our sport because it doesn't resemble what exists in pro sports. Never mind the fact that no pro sport comes anywhere close to being constructed the same way that college football is. It's just that's the way it should be. Why? Because that's the way they do it on Sunday. Well, you know what you can do on Sunday? You can watch the Sunday game. You can leave us alone over here. And then there's this other group of people, believe it or not, who find a way to love college football for what it is, and then they love the NFL for what it is, and they just leave the Berlin Wall between the two. And the only time they really break it down is on NFL draft night when players go from one side of the wall and they just, they Gorbachev, they tear that thing down, they go right to the other side, but then there's a door on the wall and you close the door after that. That's the way it's supposed to work. Don't be a casual. Don't tear down the wall more often than it should be torn down. It's like the, um, it's like the, it's the anti-80s approach. I want to also talk to you for just a second about how not to be a casual, and the way to do that is to avoid the big lies. The big lies in college football sound a little something like this. Well, you are what your record says you are. No, you're not. No. If I go 12-0 in the MAC, I go 9-3 against Arkansas schedule, I can promise you I'm probably better than the 12-0 team. You aren't what your record says you are. That's Sunday logic. This is the Saturday game. It takes a little bit of diving beneath the surface to find out, regardless of your record, what kind of team you are. Second big lie in college football, a win is a win. It's not. There's subjectivity in this sport. There's a committee, whether you like it or not, that decides who goes to the college football playoff. And so... If I'm favored by 38 and I win by three, and you're favored by 38 and you win by 43, we did not accomplish the same thing. No one thinks we did. Why repeat this absurdity? If I am playing the New York Jets Sunday and you're playing the LA Rams and we each win by three, we did accomplish the same thing. Why? Because it is professional sports. And that's the way pro sports work. College sports don't work that way. College football doesn't work that way. So I just, want, I just want you to be on the lookout for this. And maybe you are a reformed casual and you used to traffic in this sort of nonsense. I commend you. I applaud you. And our numbers hopefully are growing by the day. But if you see a chance, in the words of Steve Winwood, take it to help some of 
some of the more exposed casuals out there because there's a home for you here. There's a home for you here, but you got to clean yourself up before you come in.